Good morning, everyone. Oh, I'm so glad to see everyone. And, uh, it's such a gorgeous green day. As I just read a book to my granddaughter about how the grass is, looks greener on the other side, but I think the greenest grass is right here on the ranch. <laughs> I call this radiant green, and it's my favorite time of year. We're in the month of Aries, and the time of new life, of springtime, of germination, of planting and growing, of sprouting seeds and putting them in the earth, which is a precious time to me, and I... I absolutely love watching the flower buds come on and bloom and watching the bees wake up in the spring and gather nectar and pollen. And um, the whole world smells like flowers everywhere. So the virtue of Aries is loyalty. Yogananda says, loyalty is the first law of God. Also, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac when you be- begin and end with the zodiac. And as I said, it's the beginning of new life. It's a beautiful time, and this year it's especially beautiful. This magnificent green and lush growth everywhere. So I have a really powerful quote from Yogananda about loyalty. The only way to attain salvation is to have complete loyalty to God. This dream of life will be taken away from you one day. The only thing that is real is the love of God, nothing else. Every minute I see how necessary that is. He has tied me to the SRF work, so I tell him, I shall work for you alone. Then I feel within his supreme joy. Which is what we all feel when we completely, 100%, give our lives to God. When we pledge our allegiance to the light, And if we have been blessed with a spiritual teacher, we pledge allegiance to that person and that soul and that inspiration. And if you do have that blessing, it is a lifetime and past. It's a lifetime and more. It's a loyalty that is energetically planted in your entire body, mind, and soul. And I feel that. And it feels really solid. It feels um, substantial. Like I actually do have my feet on the ground because I have loyalty to this path. There's been many big wins in my 52 years, I promise you. And many times when I've been blown away and I had to race to get back up the mountain. But I promise you, every time, every challenge has been 100% and more worth it. And it continues to be worth it. And day by day, the work continues, though it changes. After so many years, we have transformed ourselves and the energy, basically the, the roots and the, the depth and the purpose of the community has stayed the same. As our devotion to God, our goal of uplifting humanity and of finding divine illumination for ourselves and for many, many others in this world. We continue to dream that, to live that, and to work towards that end. 
So I'm really grateful for what I've been given, and I'm here to share that, and to also validate the loyalties that are in us, in this world, that as we move towards the light, we are given relationships, we are given family, we are given jobs, we are given a purpose on the earth, a work to do, and all those things require attention. The root of it is loyalty to God. The fruit of it is the work we do on this earth and for mothers. It's our children. For grandparents, it's our grandchildren. For me, that's the greatest gift of all. I constantly need to balance and to share my life with my family and my loyalty to God like a juggling act. And I'm constantly in prayer. Please, Lord, let me put you first. All else comes second. But it was, what it boils down to is life on the path, is joy. It is the most rewarding, the most fulfilling, and the most challenging. But as Norm Paulson, our founder, said many years ago, The spiritual path, once begun, you must stick to it. Perseverance, loyalty, and devotion are the name of the game. So we're going to have some bowls from Claudia, and then we'll go into a silent meditation.
This land has many blessings. The greatest blessing that we share is the blessing of Kriya, meditation technique. This meditation brings many blessings. Surprise blessings that you get accustomed to in your life. Divine protection. A sense of oneness with all beings. And the greatest joy living with the presence of God. With his truest love and the brightest light. This time of Aries is a time of many beginnings. Also, it's a fire sign. The fire is internal with Kriya Yoga. It's the sun that shines above our heads and the light that shines continually within us. Yogananda says, Kriya Yoga is the real fire right extolled in the Gita. The yogi casts his human longings into a bonfire consecrated to God. This is the true yogic fire ceremony where all past and present desires are consumed by love divine. It's the ultimate flame. It consumes daily the dross of all those who meditate sincerely. And it brings the light of protection around us. I know for myself, if I hit a high note in meditation in the morning, I continually go back to that high note throughout the day. I see it and I feel it. And it blesses me. If I miss my meditation, I miss many things. It's a very important, vital part of my life. One of my greatest joys is connecting with children. And I have many, many experiences throughout the days and many years. Where I see the eyes of God within a child and I feel that love. And somehow they know. They come up to me, kids I've never seen before. 
and the grocery store and when I'm riding my bike, they recognize that I love them. And they also feel that I love God. It's a perfect circle. It's divine love and motherly love. Very close to the same. Many things have happened, but I want to share one sweet little experience. And I was bicycling up at the mission, which I do a lot. And there were a lot of children there. And this one little girl sat down towards the water, saw me, She looked straight at me and pointed her finger and her whole arm at me and she she yelled out, she said, you, (laughs) you're awesome. (laughs) What? (laughs) She doesn't even know me. (laughs) But children are tuned in and she felt something magical happening over here. And I feel that magic day by day. (laughs) We, We are graced by many gifts when we live with spirit. And sometimes they're big surprises. Sometimes the things that we wish we had don't come, but the things that God brings to us are much, much better, more fulfilling, and they're right in the palms of our hands. But I I feel very blessed to be able to meditate every day and every evening as we all are. Babaji was the very beginning. He was the first teacher of Kriya Yoga to Lahiri Mahashaya, who passed it down to many, many souls. And one of those was Sri Yukteswar, who became a totally God-illumined being. And translated that gift for Yogananda, who in turn lit the fire for Norm Paulson, the founder of Sunburst. And each of us carries such a great blessing by living with that meditation and that that joy and that glory. I give thanks for that, for this land, for the years we've been blessed with, and for the years to come. As we get older, Some of the memories fade out. Some of them hold strong. Yogananda says, 
Memory is here to hold on to the blessings and to let go of the rest. That's the purpose of it. The fire can consume our regrets and bad memories and give life to good ones, to a joyful reality that belongs here and now, today. This is a quote that I found. It's anonymous. The best things are nearest. Breath in your nostrils. Light in your eyes. Flowers at your feet. (laughs) Those three we have, and many more. So... To conclude, I'd like to say a prayer, and I'd ask you if you could pray with me. (coughs) Divine Spirit, Spirit. we love you. We We reach out our hands (coughs) to touch yours. We accept your many gifts. And we ask that we may have the blessing to share them. Amen. Through the columns of infinity, I saw him walking, long white robe and humble gaze. His hair was flowing, the son of suns walks on the earth, a light unto River to the sea 
Oh.